Seven countries took part in the Netball World Youth Cup 2025 qualifiers for Africa held at the University of Pretoria's Rembrandt Hall in South Africa from 17th to 24th March 2024. These are Kenya and Tanzania from East Africa, while the southern region was represented by Malawi, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe and the host South Africa. They were all fighting for three World Cup slots. Zambia started the campaign on a slow note, losing to South Africa by 72 goals to 10 on day one and went on to lose the second match against Zimbabwe by 42 goals to 37. The third match was harvest time for the young Copper Queens who thumped Tanzania by 52 goals to 15 to renew hopes of qualifying for the World Cup. The next game was against Kenya in Zambia won again by 52 goals to 32. Recording a third straight win proved futile as Zambia lost to neighbors Malawi by 54 goals to 35 in the fifth game. The final preliminary game was against Namibia and both teams needed a win to play in the bronze medal final. It was Team Zambia that won by 45 goals to 41 to set up an exciting third and fourth playoff against Zimbabwe. It was a tough match which saw Zambia win by 43 goals to 41 a difference of just two goals to win a bronze medal and qualify for the World Cup to be held in Gibraltar in 2025. The game was pretty tough as you, as you saw. We came out, we wanted the game as much as Zambia did, but I guess they wanted it better than us. You know, sometimes you can only do so much as a coach. You tell the kids what you're going to do in the court. You can't get on the, onto the court to play yourself. The game against this Zimbabwe was tough. Our strategy was for us to go full flatted of uh, defending. So the girls defended very well. They worked together and they fought for this position. And I'm happy that they fought for themselves to be where they are now. I was impressed with how uh, the coaching staff, the assistant coach, the team manager and everyone reacted when, when they came up with good uh, strategies to defeat Kenya the first game. You know, I think the first game was very critical against Kenya where we started winning, you know, and how they reacted again for today's game. Go shooter Nelly Rutambo was voted player of the match, while go attacker Harriet Muchuma was voted as the most promising player of the tournament. I had confidence in myself and we had to cooperate with our te uh, my teammates. We had to cooperate, we had to work together, we fought together as a team and we have qualified for the World Cup. We are all excited because it wasn't easy because coming in this tournament it was quite difficult for us but we fought for it and I'm so excited we worked as a team. The team received commendation from Zambia's High Commissioner to South Africa Mazuba Monze and Livingston Mayor Constance Mleyabai who hosted the young girls at their respective bases. We are so proud of you that I, I think even I, we don't even know what to do because under the circumstances that you faced when coming, uh, you've truly come out as ch champions. Thank you for honoring me and giving me this opportunity to visit my town. And at short notice, I would like to be on record to offer you a tour the Livingstone Museum, hopefully you can have the history of the city and also a free tour in the museum and a free tour to the Victoria Falls. Netball Zambia President Martha Stone says the Federation has plans to camp the team in Europe prior to the tournament. We would want the girls to go and camp in Europe maybe a month or two before the actual uh, start of uh, uh, the, the, the tournament because it will give them the feel of how the European countries play. The Zambia Under-21 national netball team defied all odds to end a maiden qualification to the World Cup slated for Gibraltar in September 2025 and will join tournament champions South Africa and runners-up Malawi. Modern Singala ZNBC Sport, Pretoria, South Africa.